and they just have the run of the school. Science teacher Gretchen Hall said some, like Lizzie the leopard gecko and Diva Darling the rabbit, help students learn to care for animals. Sometimes it's more of a distraction than anything else, but the kids, you know, really actually, you know, learn to love the animals and they want to take care of them. Diva is litter box trained, which is why she's able to hop around the classroom. When she's in her cage, she and doesn't get to bounce around with everybody else. She will throw her food bowl. She will bang her water container because she wants to be part of everything that's going on. Other animals, like Daisy the pig, are associated with Mari Rivers agricultural program. Agriculture teacher Molly Marshall said having animals in the school teaches students how to raise them and run a farm if they become farmers. I just hope you know they see how food is grown because I think there's like this disconnect. I want them to first off understand that their food was grown somewhere and the other thing is I kind of want them to be able to do it on their own. <laughs> The students take turns caring for the animals every day and over breaks. Rockbridge County is an agriculture community. When our students graduate, we're, you know, our job is to get them ready for real world and to have the skills when they graduate to go straight to work. Principal Randy Walters said he and Marshall either come in on the weekends or take the animals home so they're cared for in the right way. But Walters said it's all worth it because of how much the students learn. It's fun to come into a classroom that's active and live. I can't imagine not having an animal in my classroom now. Marshall said she hopes her students continue to study agriculture at Rockbridge County High School. I'm Caroline Blackman for the Rockbridge Report.